will be falling like a stone this evening, especially across England and Wales, because that's where the skies will remain clear for much of the night. For Scotland and Northern Ireland, it'll tend to cloud over with some patchy rain here later on. So temperatures not falling desperately low here. But uh, further south, across England and Wales, and the towns and cities will be getting down to four, five or six degrees. And in some rural areas, one or two spots across parts of Wales, the West Country, for example, will get down to freezing, so a touch of frost. And one or two fog patches possible as well, but a bright and sunny start here. It'll tend to cloud over from the north. In fact, tomorrow many of us will be rather cloudy, but that said, there'll be plenty of dry weather as well. Bit of detail through the middle of the afternoon, some patchy rain for northwestern parts of Wales and up into Northern Ireland as well. The odd heavy burst eventually arriving here. For Scotland, though, a lot of dry weather. There will be some jibs and jabs around. The far northeast, I think, uh, sticking out in some sunshine for uh, much of the day. None too warm, 12 or 13 degrees. Moving our way southwards into northern England, again, a lot of dry, if rather cloudy weather, but a usable sort of day. There'll be a bit of brightness, perhaps, where you live, and uh, fairly cloudy across parts of the Midlands, East Anglia. Uh, southern England, though, hanging on to some sunshine for a good part of the day. After that chilly start, temperatures slowly recovering up to the mid-teens, and the wind shouldn't be too strong either, and a reasonable day to come to the southwest of England. Now, perhaps you're taking part in the uh, Great North Run. I know a couple of people who are. Not a bad sort of day for racing, actually. A lot of cloud, light winds, not too warm, maybe a splash or two of rain. If you're not taking part, of course, you can watch it on the BBC. On Sunday, then, a lot of cloud around again, probably the best of the brightness across the far north of Scotland. There'll be some patchy rain, but still...